Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313 here with another C++ program that I just finished recently. Uh, now ignore the title of it, uh, I was originally going to make something else, then I got distracted and then I ended up making something completely different. Uh, so, uh, let me go ahead and run it so I can show you what it does, and then I will go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of go over very quickly about how it does it because, uh, it's kind of complicated and, uh, I don't really feel like making a 30 minute video on how to how to make this. So you can see that when I run it, it says that there are 119 total entries. Well, the entries that it is talking about come from this text document right here, contest entries. And these are all the entries that I've had for my Minecraft giveaway contest. Now, another thing that you would notice is it tells you the repeats. It says repeats is Mr. Quick's Gaming and Laris Saru. Yeah, and uh, well, I did that intentionally just so you can see, you know, what it does if there uh, are repeats. Uh, so if you scroll down, you could probably see them. Yeah, here's Mr. Quick's Gaming. See, entered twice, and then same with this, entered twice. Uh, now, of course, these can be anywhere. They don't have to be. Uh, actually, it's not going to let me save it, is it? Let's go ahead and just exit out of that, and then we can save it. Okay. So uh, they can be anywhere. Uh, the repeats don't have to be uh, right next to each other. Uh, but you could see that it you know, tells you the same thing. Now it says, do you wish to delete these repeats? I'm going to say yes. All right, so it's going to delete these repeats. And the next time that we press a key, it's going to list all of the entries, so, just so that you can see everything. And if you would uh, look through, you would notice that there are no repeats because I deleted the repeats. All right. So that's pretty cool. Now it says, do you wish to spin the wheel? Hmm. I'm going to enter in Y for yes, and it's going to spin this little wheel. And then this is actually how I'm going to choose the winner of my Minecraft giveaway contest. Um, I'm going to try to make it look a little more, um, a little more, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? A little more pretty. I'm going to kind of, you know, make it make it look nice. Uh, I'm going to clean up the code a little bit before I, uh, you know, use it to actually choose the winner. Just make sure that everything is working well. But uh, I do have all the code, you know, working well. It's going to say, do you wish to spin again? I'm going to say yes. And you can see that we will get a different, uh, different one every time. So that's awesome. See, now we got that person. Press yes again, and yeah pretty cool. Uh, you can notice that it starts out really fast. Uh, starts out, you know, spinning it really, really fast, and then it slows down. Uh, that was pretty cool. I, I like how that worked out. Um, but basically, the way it does it is it gets all of the entries, all right, from the text file. It then goes through each line of the text file, which is what that is. It makes a temporary uh, string, which stores just a list of characters, like a name. And then it then stores that line of the file, okay? And it stores that line of the file to that string. Alrighty. Now, if there is actually information on the line, which is what this tests, it's going to add that uh, the word or the username to a vector, which stores a list of uh, strings. Alright, and then this is just to test if there's no more information in the text document, being line, whatever it's at is uh, nothing, then it sets it to zero and this no longer repeats, which is how it knows when to stop uh, looking for more entries. All right. Um, and then this right here, it's going to test to see if there has been a previous, um, it's going to test to see if there has been a previous entry like that. Uh, so basically it goes through all of the uh, current uh, uh, values in the vector and test each one against the new one that it's adding. And if it finds it, then it's going to add it to another vector named repeats. Uh, this is basically just it, you know, it's telling you the repeats. And then when it, you know, says you want to delete it, it'll go ahead and find where they are and delete it. Right here is where I have it listing the entries. It was pretty difficult to get it to output in that little uh, table-like fashion. But I'm glad I did that. Yeah, all this is just to output that list. Yeah. Um... And then this is where it asks, do you want to spin the wheel? Um, basically, it'll go through, picks a, well, first things first, it randomizes the uh, entries, all right? So if I were to have, you know, the entries in the order that I actually entered them in, 
Alright, so if I just had them in this order and it went through and it spun it, there would be a better chance of it landing like somewhere in the middle. And not everyone would have a fair chance. So what I do here is I have a pick a random number between 3 and 8. And it's going to run this that many times. Alright, so uh, let's say that it picked a 6. It'll go ahead and run this 6 times, which uh, basically randomizes the vector. Alright, so just a way for me to get everything all random, make it as random as possible so that everyone has a an equal chance. Right here is where it picks the first one. Uh, this is the main part of the code right here. And it just repeats this 5 different times each time. Uh, this thing right here, sleep, which says how long it waits in between a spin, uh, uh, basically increases to make it look like it's slowing down. Um, yeah, this is pretty complicated. I'm not really going to go over how I did this. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how it does. So it's all randomized. You can see a whole bunch of the random number uh, assignments like right there. Alright, so that's where it picks one of the random numbers. I'll just go do that and uh, repeat that five times. And at the end, it you know asks you if you want to spin it again. So that's pretty much how I did it. Um, no, again, not an in-depth tutorial. Uh, if you do want to see, uh, you know, kind of, you know, not not necessarily how to make this program, but how to make you know different programs in C++ on my channel, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section uh, saying, hey, I'd like to see some tutorials about this stuff. It seems pretty cool. So uh, you know, go ahead and do that if you want to see more tutorials. Uh, but other than that, the main reason I'm showing you this is so that you know how I'm going to pick the winner of the contest. Uh, sounds pretty cool, uh, and I, I like how it you know, worked out. I am going to try and clean up the code a little bit, of course. It's kind of inefficient, I believe, the way I have it all working. But, you know, I'm still kind of a beginner in C++ programming. So, Anyways, this has been Drawing at 1313. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you wish to see a tutorial, go ahead and tell me in the comments section. Um, and don't forget to enter the uh, contest. Alright, so, yeah, I've already said this is drawing at 1313, so I will see you all next time. Bye.